I woke up this morning, and it was there. It's always there. What's for breakfast? Cinnamon rolls. Fresh, hot, and handmade cinnamon rolls with cream cheese, whipped cream frosting. Barbecue potato chips. I love breakfast sandwiches. Chili cheeseburgers. A plenty of rubbish on potatoes. Little Debbie Star Crunch. What if I made brunch with pork belly, fried rice, and sunny side eggs? Deconstructed breakfast carbonara. And a filo seven cheese egg and sausage bake. Turkey and dressing. No, you can't have a bite. Joey doesn't share. What's for lunch? Din Tai Fung is opening in New York City. Biscuits, two cups white lily, self-rising flour, one tablespoon sugar, salt, one stick grated butter, three-quarter cup buttermilk, caramel corn bugles, Victoria and Albert's Pop-Tarts, barbecue potato chips. Let's roast a whole pig in the backyard. Where can I get a six-foot paella pan? The French laundry, French fries, French fries, French fries, diners, drive-ins, and dives. What's for dinner? Barbecue potato chips. Sometimes it's easy to deal with. Just a soft whisper. But sometimes, all too often, it's an endless culinary baby shark haunting my every waking moment. Sometimes, it's Bobcat Goldthwait screaming unbearably loud. All the time, it's my food noise, and it's exhausting. Hello, my name is Christopher Durham, and this is The Downsized where we discuss our journeys with GLP-1, Zepbound, Manjaro, Terzepatide, and all that go with it. I began taking shots on September 29th, 2023. At that time, I had ballooned up to 285.4 pounds. And as of today, I've lost 65 pounds with the help of these powerful medications. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. So let's discuss food noise. What is it? Why do I care? Is it really that bad? Yes, it's really that bad. It has defined who I am and what I weigh for as long as I can remember. Food noise has shaped me as a person, a dad, a foodie, a cook, a traveler, and honestly, a fat guy. No matter what I weigh, a fat guy. Have you ever found yourself constantly thinking about what to eat, when to eat, and how much to eat? Well, that's food noise. And for those of us dealing with the disease of obesity, it can be hell. When I started taking Manjaro Zepbound in September of last year for obesity, it all changed. It turns out that these GLP-1s also help quiet the food noise along with reducing appetite. Imagine feeling free from those intrusive thoughts, finally able to concentrate on other things in life, other more important things. For me, it was almost immediate and the silence was refreshing. So how do these GLP-1s work? Well, they slow down how quickly food leaves your stomach, making you feel full longer. Plus, they target specific areas in the brain involved in appetite and cravings. It's that food noise, right? It's making your brain think differently. It's like flipping a switch on those constant food-related thoughts. It changed my world from the constant, what will I eat next, to, oh yeah, I need to eat. When my kids get home from school and ask, what's for dinner, Dad? I honestly say, I haven't thought about it. I hadn't been thinking about it since this morning, since yesterday, since last week. I haven't thought about it. Now, these medications might not be a permanent fix. If I stop taking them and the food noise might, it just might come back. It probably will come back. But for many, like me, they're providing much-needed relief and helping pave the way for a healthier lifestyle change and for losing weight. And for me, to keep those food noises away, I'll take it for the rest of my life. As GLP-1s like terzepatide and semaglutide, so Zepbound, Manjaro, Ozempic, Wagovi, gain as effective weight management tools, more and more people are sharing their experiences of quieter minds and less food-related stress. And it's not just anecdotal. Studies that are starting to back up these claims are popping up everywhere, showing promising results in real-life settings. In an article titled, What is Food Noise? A Conceptual Model of Food Cue Reactivity, that's a mouthful, in the National Library of Medicine from the National Center for Biotechnology Information, the authors discuss how these drugs work, how GLP-1s have been shown to affect areas of the brain involved in the regulation of appetite, and reward-seeking behaviors, including the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus can be exposed to semaglutide and terzepatide through tansites lining the ventricle wall, which may help to regulate eating behaviors. 
So if you've been struggling with food noise like I have and the disease of obesity, talk to your doctor about GLP-1 medications. Maybe it's the right solution for you. They could be the key to turning down the volume on the relentless food-related thoughts and help you focus on living your best life. Food noise is a real thing, and the GLP-1s are an effective treatment that eliminate the chaos and gives both your mind and your body the best chance of fighting the disease of obesity. Thank you for watching. My name is Christopher Durham, and this is The Downsized. To learn more about GLP-1s, ZepBound, Monjaro, Terzepatide, and Semaglutide, make sure to like, subscribe, and join us in our journey.